Welcome to another episode of SAP Analytics Cloud. This time we will take a look how we can create a new value driver tree. So you might have read the article that I shared and how the value driver tree can help. So let's build a new one. Here we have basically a list of things around a typical household income. We have expenses for the house, transportation, childcare, living expenses, insurances. So how could we basically create a value driver tree for such a scenario? So one of the items you notice that each of the accounts has a unique ID. I used a four digit number because we have up to four levels in a hierarchy. So you can see, for example, we have housing expenses. We have part of that being electricity, heating costs, and so on. So we actually do have the elements in a hierarchy organized. So what we're going to do first is actually set up a new model. In this case, we're starting from a blank model because we don't have a spreadsheet that has everything in there. So we're going to start a blank model. And the first item we're going to set up as part of the blank model is actually our account dimension. So we're going to go and say add a new dimension. We name it account. The type is account. And that one will give us the option to then set up all the items from our household income and define the hierarchy. So we're going to open the account dimension and then we're going to switch to the grid view. And now you can see basically the grid where we can have the member ID, the description and the hierarchy. So in our example, we're just going to open up the spreadsheet. We select the accounts and the account descriptions. We're not including the parent ID. And then we're just going to copy and paste it into the list of members of our account dimension. We then going to define the hierarchy quickly as part of our account model. And then we can go back and keep adding dimensions to our model. So now we're going to add actually the calendar month. So we click the, I'm going to rename the dimension to calendar month. And we're going to configure our default hierarchy to be year and month. Then we're going to go to the model properties and we're going to go to the planning area. Make sure the planning is actually enabled. And in our case, we have the date dimension configured and we have our start and end dates configured. So now we can save our model. We're just going to give it a name and save it into the public folder. And now we can upload the information into the model. So in addition to the account dimension, we also have a data upload sheet in the spreadsheet that has the values for the year 2020 for all of the accounts. So we can use that and upload it into the model now. So we go to the data management area we upload the file. And then we have to map the dimensions to the columns in the spreadsheet. So here we are and we start with looking at version 
then we can see the calendar month being mapped and we can see the account dimension and we can also see the measure value being mapped to the columns in the spreadsheet so then we can finish the mapping and basically load the data into our data model So now is the next step, we can create a story. And some of you actually might realize that I'm not going to create a value driver tree. There's something really actually exciting new. We have the ability to create a brand new value driver tree directly in the story. So I'm picking up our model and inside the analytics cloud story, I'm being asked if I want to create now a new value driver tree. So I don't have to go to a separate step anymore. I can do this directly inside my SAC story. So on the right hand side, I have a default node configuration where I can configure some defaults like, you know, colors and how big should each node be in my value driver tree. So I'm going to configure, for example, a width of 250 pixels. And then I'm going to use the auto create. We created a model with all the information. So we don't have to basically create node by node. We'll just do an auto create and we will have all the accounts that we created in our value driver tree. Here it is pretty much kind of like in a few seconds, we created the value driver tree was all the elements from our model. So to show, we can zoom in and we have already all the values for 2020. We can also do some formatting such as like all housing expenses will become blue. And let's say all car expenses or like, you know, other expenses become different headers. We can do all that directly inside of our story. So in this case, for example, we start formatting some of the nodes, we give them different colors to distinguish items from each other, perhaps like cost and, you know, income. In our case, the housing expenses, we're all just going to format them with a blue header. And as you can see, I'm doing this directly inside the analytics cloud story. And as you can see, the value driver tree is already fully functional. We can even already go in and actually, if we want it, actually change data already. And for example, increase or decrease some of the values of our tray, which is something we're going to take a look next time. I hope you find this very interesting. And I want to say thank you for watching and listening.